Channel 2 News at 6. Don, a recent study by the University of California shows that California has lost 20% of its movie-making business in recent years. Well, one reason is Chicago. It's not so foreign anymore for us to see a major motion picture being made here. One is in the works now, a murder mystery starring Roger Moore, Rod Steiger, and Elliot Gould. Phil Walters takes us behind the scenes. Solid blade on the right side. Okay. Okay. Double net on this side here, cut the post. Okay. Solid blade on the left. Lights. You're going to have to push it, huh? Camera. But it will be hours before there is action. Hours of taping and adjusting, measuring and changing. Oh, you're taking care of the plaque at the police station that they pulled off the wall? These are the Chicagoans who make Hollywood's movies here. Gaffers and grips, mixers and script supervisors. And because of them, Chicago is making millions. How much money will this uh, production drop on you guys? On the technicians? Well, I've been zooming the city of Chicago, generally speaking, with hotels and everything else, it'll probably be around $3 million drop. And on the set, you begin to understand how so many millions get spent. Filming takes forever. Eventually, actor Roger Moore will walk across the lobby, ask why the regular doorman Charlie is missing, and walk out. That's it. Chicago and Aaron Holden, the props man, hands Moore his glasses. Holden used to work in television news. You glad you made the switch? Definitely. Do you miss news? Not at all. They pay well. Quite well. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> I've got a very, very good crew here. One of the most pleasant crews I've ever worked with. I don't know if it's in the door or in the thing. There are three run-throughs, rehearsals, and finally, finally, the shooting begins. Whoa. We're rolling. We're rolling. Two fifteen. Take one. Charlie, don't worry about the car. I'm going out again later. 2.15, take two. Well, don't worry about the car, Charlie. I'll be going out again later. Don't worry about the car. I'm going out later. What's happened to Charlie? He's on vacation, doctor. Got it. Very good one. Two hours and 51 minutes since they started setting up, a few seconds of film in the can, and they break down and move on to shoot the next few seconds. All of this means far more than just money, of course. It gives the world a new look at Chicago, fitting since the image of Chicago around the world was established by the movies, gangster movies. My father said to me before I came, he said, be careful, son, you know what they do in Chicago. <laughs> He still thinks of Valentine Day's massacre. You know? <laughs> You're not a good guy in this no, movie. No, no, not at all. <laughs> you try to kill Roger Moore. Yes, definitely. I blow away a Snoopy doll, too. With what? With this gun. Where is that this gun? This gun right over here. Hey, Aaron? Aaron, you got the gun? Sure. Another Chicago actor must meet his fate. But the Chicago crew knocks off another Hollywood movie. Phil Walters, Channel 2 News. Can you imagine if we did the news every night that way? One take, two take, three takes, four? You know, one of the interesting things about this movie, Phil Walters told me that this is actually from a novel by Sidney Sheldon that was set in New York City, and yet the director, Brian Forbes, chose to bring it to Chicago to film it. When can we expect to see it in cassette? Uh, in cassette, I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to be in the theater sometime around the end of the year. I'm not positive about that.